hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking in case you're new on the channel you're most welcome and if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so guys today i'm starting this video from the matatu and today guess what we are headed to iten i know most of you guys have been telling me harriet make sure i visit iten town and today is that day we're going to explore Iten and also proceed where the champions train from and all that. So kindly watch this video from the beginning to the end. I'm here with Kobenata. Say hi. Hi guys. How are you doing? Welcome to Are Tanabu channel. Guys, uh, today is a good day. It's a early morning, cold as usual. But now, today at least I felt hot eh? for the very first time in Elgin. <laughs> Guys, we are heading to Iten. Yeah, we are from Eldoret. Yeah. And we are from Eldoret. Yeah. So check me out as Kobenata. Subscribe and I'll appreciate it. Yeah. How far is it from uh, here to Iten? It's 40 an hour. One hour. One hour. So it's just one hour. Just it's one hour. Drive. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm here with. Of course. <laughs> Man Jim. Man Jim. <laughs> well, let's make what, what we can out of the day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys are ready for this trip. Um, it's going to be an epic trip, okay? From Eldere to Iten, it's just one hour. We just want to take you guys along with us. Yes. So in case you want to go into Iten, you come and board your matatu from here. This is where they get them from. What? In case someone wants to go to Iten, they get their matatus from here. Iten stage. Eh? It's called? Iten stage. Iten stage. Yeah. Okay. And actually, it's just 100 each, 100 Kenyan shillings each, okay? How much is that in dollars? In dollars. Just one dollar. Yeah, just one, one dollar. dollar. Mm. It's not actually, actually expensive. Less, less a dollar it's a, yeah. a dollar is so a it's ninety nine eight dollars. Less than a dollar. Less than ninety eight zero point nine eight. Yes. So it's just an a dollar guys. It's not so expensive. So let's go and explore it. I'm excited. You, the reason why this will be charge one fifty is because we're using the shutters. One fifty or one hundred. That's what I'm saying. Because mm. we're using the shuttle. That's why it's hundred shillings per person. But one, if it were usual, the usual matatus, the shuttles usually subsidize prices. You have to build a reputation. Yeah? But uh, if it were usual matatus, it would be a total of one hundred fifty shillings per person. Okay, mm. but shuttles are more cheaper. And more cheaper, and okay. more efficient, safer. Mm. Plus they have a reputation and they are very disciplined. Okay. Yeah. So if you're moving on budget, this is the this car. This is Kerio Prestige. <laughs> It's Kerio Prestige. Kerio Prestige. Shuttle. You can read the name of that. Mm. Oh yeah, actually they are written over there. Kerio Prestige Shuttle. Oh okay. Yeah, that's Anne over there. This is how the matatus look like. All right, guys, so I'm doing this epic trip with these ladies over here. You can introduce yourself. Hi, guys, my name is Claire. You can find me on Miss Claire underscore Kenya on YouTube. So thank you so much, Harriet, for featuring me on this. And we are going to Eton. So I'm hoping Harriet will love it and welcome to Eldon. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. I know Claire is new on this channel, but you guys are going to be seeing her. We're going to do this tour together to Eton. And I'm also here with. Hi guys, my name is Anne. Thank you so much, and I'm Harriet for having me on your uh, on your channel once again. It's yeah. becoming uh, my second home, guys. <laughs> hey. So guys, today we yeah. are sporting. Hey, see how Anne is ready. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to where these amazing, amazing athletes uh, normally train. Mm. You will see amazing views there, guys. Exactly. You're going to enjoy it. Mm. Even me, I'm ready, somehow ready for jogging, eh? So you guys stay tuned up to the end of this video. But yeah, I'm excited for this trip. Let's go! Safety first. Okay. So right now we have started our journey, guys. 2010. We are leaving Elberis. Okay. But we are going to be back, I think, later on. Because it's just one, one hour's drive. It's so windy.
place is called Jerusalem and I was asking the driver why do they call it that maybe if you're watching us from Eldoret why do they call this place Jerusalem drop a comment and let us know
prestige. Yeah. Oh, it is actually chilled. Eh? minutes later guys we have alighted we are in Iten officially we are in Iten I'm not a tiktoker I'm not a tiktoker I'm not a tiktoker guys we are finally arrived in Iten and uh, this is the tax park. We have alighted from here. Okay. So we are going to have a stroll around Iten town and then proceed to other places. All right, guys. We are starting with our um, tour of Iten. We are going to be giving you some historical background of Iten. Yes. But the city is actually vibrant here. Look at vibrant. Iten is really nice, very chilled. Sasa? Mm. Uh? YouTube. Very good. YouTube. Mm. Yes, it's for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you want to yeah. say hi? Say hello. Uh, hi. How is it? Uh, it is uh, very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. How is the weather here? The weather is very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So you work here? I work here. Okay. I'm riding a motorbike. You ride a motorbike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are also we are also new in this area. So you are local here. You're born and raised um, from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. We have finally met a local guys. All right. Yes, all right, thank you. All right. all right, guys, let's proceed. Hey, it's actually cool here. Let me tell you, the sunshine is out, but at the same time, it's cold. Like you can feel, you can feel the breeze. You know? Wow. I don't know what that is. I think I'll try to ask the locals because I've seen it also there. Yeah, I think they are living there to market the place. Sasa? Mm. So we are in the city center, guys. Hmm, the weather is actually changing. We don't know even where we are headed to, but uh, I think we shall first visit the viewpoint. Because of course you cannot come to Eldoret and you don't see that viewpoint, guys. Okay? You cannot come to Iten and you don't see that viewpoint. Okay? Yeah. Let's proceed. Oh, so chilled here. That is poster, poster Kenya, that one over there. Welcome to Iten, guys. I'm excited to be here. Wow. Let's just move with the flow. But it's, it's, it's the sun is the out. Sun is out huh? <laughs> are, you, are you noticing that? It's 2400 meters above sea level. This place has a high altitude, it's highly elevated. Okay. Yeah. You haven't noticed that? <laughs> I can feel the coldness, the, the, the breeze in the coldness. Yeah. yeah. It's too cold. Exactly. So, Iten, mm -hmm. the name itself, Iten, is a corruption of a name from the name Kill Ten. There was a British explorer here in the late 1800s. Okay. His name was Joseph Thompson. He was naming hills 
hill one, hill two, hill three. So the hill that was around this place, I'm sure we'll be able to spot it once we get to viewpoint. Okay. Uh, he, he named it hill ten, the tenth hill. So the name ten is a corruption of the word hill ten. At okay. that time, mm. majority of the locals were not learned, so pronouncing the word hill ten was a bit of a problem. Okay. So hence the name Iten. Iten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So wow. The, the uh, hill ten. The tenth hill. Ten. Oh, yeah. the tenth oh, hill. So that's why. Iten. Wow, are you guys hearing the history of Iten? Like how the, yeah. the so, place came to uh, be known Iten? Modern day Iten town, mm. the county headquarters for Elgeo Marakwet. This is Elgeo Marakwet county. Okay. This county has four constituencies. Marakwet East, Marakwet West, Keio North and Keio South. Uh, but that wasn't always the case since the beginning. There's a town, further down south, about 10 kilometers from here, it's called Tambach. Tambach used to be the uh, district headquarters for this county. Okay. But, uh, you know, rumor has it, or rather facts have it, mm. that uh, president, the first president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, visited this place in uh, 1966. Okay. And uh, his car got stuck in Tambach when he visited this, this region, Keio okay. Marakot. Okay. So when he was coming back, he passed here, and he liked this place. So, and there was a time across here, back then. so he ordered the uh, district headquarters for Keio Marakwet uh, district mm. to be moved to here to Iten. Okay. Yeah. So that's why Iten, modern day Iten, is the county headquarters for Elgeo Marakwet County. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Hey, the tiers, uh? Yeah, they are, I know, but they are, it's, uh, they are headquartered in Tali. Oh. It's a market in Tali. Tali, less congested. Have you realized? Oh, realized. Oh, the whole is... Less like, congested. No, Iten is not a big town. It doesn't have a lot of... It's a small town, It has yeah? a population of around um, 42,000 people. Okay. Roughly speaking, it's 42,000. I think I got the latest statistics. Yeah, it's a town. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, what makes it then more popular? Okay. We've talked about the elevation. Yes. The elevation of the place is it's high altitude area. You know exactly. the science behind that. That when people, uh, when you are training, mm -hmm. so uh, like when a professional athletic troop here to train, the reason behind that is the high elevations. So you know, when you are training in a high altitude area, okay. you are using less oxygen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that boosts your endurance. That you can run for long. Mm. Yeah. So that's why world renowned athletes group here to come and train to boost their endurance. Okay. Yeah. When, when, when training. So plus the place has uh, coaching facilities. You know, uh, running tracks. Uh, um, a supportive community. Yeah. That provide a conducive environment for all of that. Okay. Yeah. Plus, it, uh, the town also has other institutions like there is St. Patrick. Itself. There's a very big uh, national high school. Mm. I think so, the, the guy was telling me that it's just a big in France? Uh, yeah, down there. Okay. And that's the stadium we've been talking about. Mm. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. So, the, the dominant community are the chaos, which is the subject of the, of the Kalenji. Mm. Chaos. Mm. No, it's it not is here. really too small. Up to viewpoint. Eh? Oh, up to viewpoint. Up to viewpoint. Okay, oh, so. Yeah, we are headed there. Oh, mm. I was thinking the viewpoint is on the other side. No, viewpoint is down there. Wow. Have you, is, is it far? You know, you're coming here for it the first time. It is not actually it's far. Not far. It's, it's far. It's about an hour, 40 kilometers. Exactly. So this is the southern part of Eldoret town. This, okay. this is a set, a near, I call this a nearby satellite town. It's just 40 kilometers from Eldoret town. Exactly. An hour drive. Yes. yes. So if you were to go to Kapsabet, it's 45 kilometers, again an hour. Mm. Uh, same, same thing too, it's on the northern, on the northern side of the, of the town. Mm. Yeah, this is, the, this is the south. Wow. Actually, this is the northern part, not the southern part. This is the northern the part. The northern part. Yeah, Kapsabet is the southern part of the town. Welcome to Iten. Iten town, Elgeo Marakwet. Elgeo Marakwet. Elgeo Marakwet. You haven't seen Elgeo that? Elgeo Marakwet. Elgeo Marakwet. Mm. So this is the road leading to Kabarnet town. Okay. It's uh, Kabarnet town is the county headquarter for mm. Pasingishu County. Kabarnet is a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger in size than mm. Iten. Yeah. The second president, eh? that was his hometown. President Daniel was Richard mm. This is a vast county. This is a very vast county. It's extremely vast. Mm. Yeah, it's bigger. Even I'm, I'm sure even more than what Are you serious? Yeah, it's very vast. But mm. of course, I think the, 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 what makes it vast, majority of the lands are entirely uninhabited. 
They're mm. just, uh, yeah, because of the valleys and everything. Exactly. You'll get to see my point as we head over there. Yeah. yeah. So I think also you can see the agricultural activities that are going around the surrounding areas mm. are very rich. Yeah. They support agricultural activities. They people plant here maize. Mm. Yeah. And everything. The surrounding areas are very fertile. Yeah. Mm, they are very exactly. fertile soils. Yeah. The the soils place, are really fertile. Uh, this place receives high high rainfall. Obviously, it's a high altitude. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So basically, uh, um, what other what also makes a town another tourist destination, mm -hmm. or rather more more popular, is where we headed the viewpoint. The viewpoint, the scenic, eh? The scenic view. Exactly. Right? It's, it's, uh, it it's a higher altitude area. I've talked about that a lot of times. Yes. So the scenic view you get by viewing, you know, the, it's, it's the Skerio Valley. So when you're standing on the viewpoint, mm -hmm. what you what you see down there is a valley, and a bottomless like like, like a bottomless pit, very vast. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think even that's why most people want to come here because of the scenic view yeah, that the they scenic, see yeah, here. The scenic view, exactly. The scenic, yeah, the view. And you cannot come to Iten and you don't go yeah. and visit that view. You cannot Iten town if you do not come to view for Exactly. Thanks for visiting so Home of Champions. Home of Champions. Wow. The billboard. Mm -hmm. So now you are out of town. But yeah. it's not a big town. It's not a big town actually. But it's growing. If you've been here for quite some time, yeah. it didn't used to be like this. Okay. Now I can see even footpaths. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's changing. Each and every year, each and they every are year. growing it. Each and, each and every year, they are growing it. Yeah. Plus the whole World Health... I think some time back, was it was in 2020 or 20, whatever. It was a... Um, a charter was given. It was more of an international town. Uh, town okay. Because of the, uh, the whole sporting activities there, you know? Okay. Yeah. We have to visit that higher uh, high training center. Mm -hmm. I've never been there before. But I'm very much interested eh? wow. to see where it is. Amarini Stadium. The stadium is called what? Amarini. Amarini. Kamarini. Kamarini. Yeah. Is that too hard for you to pronounce? Kamarini. Yeah. I'm trying. No, it's not even a question of trying. <laughs> that, that one is so direct. <laughs> oh, wow. There is also a viewpoint. You are coming. You came from Nairobi using a matatu. Yes. I don't know if you were shown. I yeah. There was a viewpoint. I there saw. There was a viewpoint you showed. Yes. So people don't pay mm. if you are driving. You've been driving for a long time, yeah. or rather for a longer journey, and you want to take rest. You can just park your car just along the road. Mm. Just make a stop and view. It's not a view about the. Okay, it's about the view more, but you know the sense of the refreshing air. Mm. Yeah. There is usually there is usually very fresh air coming from. Are blowing. It's breathtaking. And it's breathtaking. That's the thing. It's mind blowing. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Plus the view is spectacular. Mm. There is a signpost here, viewpoint. But I think they need to change it because people can. If you're from far, you cannot no, no, view it so well. Just repaint it. You know, repaint it. Yeah. The, the writings have, are faded, have faded over time, mm -hmm. becoming almost completely invincible. Wow, looks nice. The quality of the air is so refreshing, <laughs> so clean. This place is less industrially, industrially uh, polluted. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> less congested, no more. Less. But I think this viewpoint has got everything, hotels, a lot of stuff guys, we're going to be showing them to you. Because this is a touristic area, you know? Yeah. So, you know, the people who have set up businesses here, yeah. a lot because when you come to visit here, you can pop in from the hotel. Exactly. Uh, you know, have maybe grab a bite, grab a, grab a bite yeah. snacks and stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hey, today I'm happy, at least the sunshine is out. The sunshine is out, yeah, it's a favorite kind of weather. For yes. Me, I blend well with the, the coldness. Okay. Yeah, I'm here for the pain. <laughs> I think it's Because you're used to this kind of weather, you know, the cold yeah. weather. So I think we should be visiting from there. We should be uh, viewing it from there rather. PMC. Hmm. Let me first get this, this thing over here. Guys, we are finally here and we're saying Karibu, the 10 viewpoints over here. Let me try to show it to you. 
looks really nice look at that so we are finally here I think we are going to view it from uh, this side wow so I'm told as you go down there um, the roads are like zigzag no? wow it's nice. I think this is uh, a, how do you call it? Signpost or what? Oh, what's e this? Elgeo Marakot County. It is what? E M. -C. e M. Where is the C? Is ah, yeah, it's here. Yeah. To be observant enough. <laughs> no, you are not. What does it mean? Elgeo Marakot County. Okay. <laughs> you are local. What is she saying? You have to buy something so that you can. You can go up there. Maybe we get water. Yeah. You can give us water. Maji. Mm, Mm. I don't want baridi. Si baridi. Si baridi. Mm. Small. Small. Yeah. That. Yes, three. <laughs> yeah, it's not cold. It's not so cold. That's room temperature. It's not so cold. Yeah. Zingapi? Takua one fifty. One fifty each. 50 bob. 50 bob, 50 bob. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, guys, so let's make the payment. Yes, okay, Asante. So, and before you, you come here, this is the guest pass, actually. <laughs> before you go and see the viewpoint over there, you have to first get something here to drink, like a soda, water, juice. Yes. So, we have gotten ourselves water. She's she's mashing. You're going to make smashed potatoes. Yes. Ah. Wow. Beautiful. So here you can. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is look at that. This is so beautiful. Wow. So beautiful. Actually, I can see the road down there. It's really nice. So imagine this road. This is the same road. But see where it's heading. It's see how it's meandering. Right? Yeah. You know, it's almost a kilometer of meandering, almost leading to the same place. So you know, when constructing a road in places where the terrain is rugged, it's usually a bit of a challenge because the roads have to meander through the hills. So that makes the journey a bit more Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's now longer. Yeah. I can see it's can a bit see, longer. You can see now my point. Yes. Being, this. Um, this is the pragmatic approach of what I was talking about. Now the point is home. You see how the road is meandering. This is the same road, but see where it is. It's almost coming here. If I was to cut across here, see, I would just reach there over uh, this is five, ten minutes walk. Wow. So this is how it is if, until up to Cabernet. It keeps meandering, meandering, meandering. Okay. Meandering. So Cabernet town is just on top of that hill. But imagine it's 49 kilometers from here. So you know it's because of the meandering. Yeah. Then what's that place that I'm seeing over there? Where? There, are you seeing like so trees? Place, Kesup, there's a place called Kesup. Yeah, in fact, the hill I was talking to you about, the, the, the hill 10 now, the 10th hill. I think it should be somewhere around there. Wow. This is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. I feel like stay, staying here the whole day. I love places like this, it's really nice. There's someone who's home down there? Nice. Yeah, these are, all these are homesteads, by the way. Place is gold. It looks really nice, guys. Now I know why they call it the viewpoint. I, I, I now know. No. It's really beautiful. Let me. Let, oh, you want to? Alright, well, black girl, let me do. To take some water. It's actually. I'm kind of feeling thirsty. Mm -hmm. I can stay 
here the whole day viewing these guys. Actually, so if you ever come to E10, you cannot miss seeing the viewpoints, guys. And actually, it's free. It's free seeing it. It's just that some points, like now, like this lady over here, I think this is her area. Before coming here, you have to make sure you grab a bite or you get something like a drink and all that. But it's, it's really nice. I love this place. Wow. It's beautiful, you guys. It's really beautiful. Welcome to Eten View. Wow. wow. This is in Africa. This is Kenya, guys. When I talk about the beauty of Kenya, see what I'm talking about, guys. I didn't know that a place like this exists up to when I came to Iten. This place is extremely beautiful. It's gold. Wow. If you want, you can have a seat here and then view the place. Wow. Beautiful. I love it. Good summer return, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to be ending this video from here. Hope you guys have enjoyed the viewpoint. Uh, we started our journey from Eldoret and we ended up here at the viewpoint in Iten. I really love Iten. The weather is the weather here is so cool. The people here are just warm, very amazing. And I'm going to ask these guys their expectations. How was it? So I'll start with Claire. Hi. <laughs> uh, so this place is really nice. Mm -hmm. I like the hospitality from the people. Okay. Everywhere you go, like everyone is like, "Hi, how are you?" You know, exactly. that's really significant. So yes. for me, that was, the, I think, the epic moment for me in this region. Okay. And I love the breeze. The weather is perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So guys, kindly check out Claire. It's Claire underscore Kenya. All right. I'll leave the link in the description. Mm. I, I I expect something less than this, not more than this. Okay. Hey, this is amazing. I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Mm. I'm loving the breeze. I'm loving the people. The community here is super friendly and welcoming. You know, I think they just are warm people. Exactly. Yeah. The have been met as a person who's too deeply into the whole self reflection thing. I think my, my expectations have been met because I have deeply introspected. This place is um, it's just amazing. It feels like it's a place that has been cut off from the rest of the world. Exactly. Yeah, you, you get to live within your thoughts. If you're going through a hard time, you just life, come here. This, this, this can be your kind of place. Exactly. Just come here and introspect, yeah. uh, reflect, think deeply yeah. about where to go. Yeah. You know, they say that an open road like this one helps you to think about where you've been and where you're going. Exactly. So, this is, this is your kind of place. If you're going through a hard time in life, then visit this place. <laughs> it's going it's to really help you to beautiful. Up, it's, going, it's going to help you to clear up your thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, to answer your question, have been, my expectations been met? Yes, they have been met 110%. All right, yeah. you guys have heard it from Jim. Let me tell you guys, me, what I expected is what I got. Actually, even it superseded my expectations. This place is extremely beautiful. You need to all come here and check out this place. It's really, the view is just scenic, very beautiful, okay? The people here are just so warm. Yeah, I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone who has watched up to the end of this video. I think I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Love is for free. Share the love. Bye, guys.